Hi Virgo. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles as your awareness. Awareness. And this is a card of someone who's a hard worker, someone who's very focused on the task at hand of getting it done, doing it in a really solid and super way. So this is a week perhaps where you're focused on work, where you are focused on leading a team or a group. You may be working hard on a hobby or a side project. You may be working hard on a relationship. This is uh, focused, slow-moving, conservative uh, planning and implementing, you know, uh, strategies and uh, steps that are, that are going to help boost your foundation, your money, your resources, your time. You know, he's he's holding that pentacle and he's looking downfield. He may be assessing what his lands look like. But really at the heart of this Knight of Pentacles, it's someone who is very focused on the details and doing a super job. And if the team isn't helping, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is saying, well, I'll just take care of it. I'll make sure it gets done. So with this awareness of hard work and focus and being very task and goal oriented, here's the Page of Wands, which is saying, we need some excitement here too. And the pages are youthful energy. So whether this is someone that sh it's in your family, at your work, uh, that you're involved with, there's this youthful energy, which is, you know, we need to have some fun. We need to have some adventure. And what are we going to do that's really great? And he could be saying, gosh, this is drudgery. You're working so hard. Let's have some fun. Don't forget to have some fun. And here's the Knight of Pentacles grinding it out, making things, you know, doing all the work behind the scenes to get it done. And the Page of Wands is like, I'll help too, but I want to enjoy what I'm doing. I really want to have a sense of um, developing excitement and having new experiences. So whether it's through travel or through activities, or through networking or social component, there's a sense of don't forget to live, to have some fun, to take advantage of your energy. Interesting. Okay, so we have in terms of guidance, the Four of Swords. And with the Four of Swords, this is a uh, message to you to take some time for yourself to rest and recover. You may be in a challenging situation. You may be working so hard that if you don't watch yourself, it's going to be, it could become an issue. So this is about taking a moment to reflect, to be still, to allow yourself to catch up physically mentally and you may need a time out for yourself you may need to pull back and require some solitude doesn't mean that when we go back to situations that they disappear but we go back refreshed we may have a new approach and um, this is a very really very clear message of recovery and rest is going to help you working 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 could be detrimental and here's you know have some fun and live too and ultimately incorporate some rest for yourself this week so then we have the emperor and the emperor brings to our guidance here a sense of uh it's really a sense of confidence and making good decisions. He's a leader. He's a wise leader. He has experience. He more often than not makes good decisions. And these decisions are for the benefit of everybody in the land. And so the decisions that you make may be impacting your family or your relationship or your coworkers or your, your if you're the CEO, your business. 
And this is to be mindful of, of that we're dealing with structure and organization with the emperor. He would like it if everybody played by the rules and followed along and showed a sense, showed a sense of deference or obedience. So um, you could be dealing with someone like this this week, or these could be qualities that you need to show, which is leadership and confidence and taking, again, taking charge and um, using your experience to make decisions. The shadow side of this would be, be mindful that making decisions and being inflexible or being rigid and not listening to other ideas is, you know, may not be so thrilling to others. And so just to be mindful of that, to lead with a generous heart with an open heart. Okay, now we're going to pull for possible outcomes. Ooh, okay. Possible outcomes. Conflict, battling, and, you know, you may find yourself in a position where you're having it out with someone could be a heated argument, it could be some petty thing, but it's going to be where someone feels that they're gonna wanna win. And so whether that's you, and you're standing here in the green smirking at the people walking away, which is not a really cool or nice thing to do. You could be this fellow who seems to be saying, to hell with it, I'm, you can have my sword, this isn't worth it to me, I'm gonna walk away from this argument. Or you could be this person here who has his head in his hands and maybe he feels humiliated or shamed. And sometimes people take shots and they embarrass you in front of others. They can be bullies in the workplace or can be bullies in relationships. And again, this is a card of perspective. But this sword, Aries, Libra, not Aries, excuse me, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, obstacles and challenges and then here this could very much lead this possible outcome of stress to you and anxiety this is worry and this is concern this is concern that keeps you up at night it's very upsetting so whether someone is being a jerk to you I'm not saying it's the emperor but maybe there's someone who is being uh, really difficult and making your life miserable. That's a tough situation to be in. The Nine of Swords is really quite a tough card because nobody wants to have that pit in their stomach where they can't sleep and it's that feeling of woe. And it could be as a result of this power struggle, of this person who could be not a very nice person, uh, you know, within a group dynamic. So let me just move these for now. So interesting cards here with the emperor, very strong personality, a leader, someone who wants things to go a certain way. This idea of work and a lot of work that rest will be needed, that some fun is needed, and then you, possible outcomes of perhaps some type of struggle, some types of argument or conflict. You have to decide who you are and how you're feeling and how this represents your situation and then worry and feeling upset. Okay, let's choose an oracle card here and we'll See what we have for meditation or focus area for the week. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is of the highest good. So, you know, that's a nice affirmation to think about uh, focusing on your highest good. 
whatever situation, that all the BS and the nonsense and the struggles and the power plays, that if you can focus on what you can do to reach your highest good, and if you cannot let your fear hold you back, well, you know, easier said than done, but it's a start. And so now let's choose an oracle card for spirit or emotional self. Relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. It is. You learn a lot through challenges. You learn a lot through good relationships and bad relationships. And yes, soul growth, even through when your heart is heavy, when you are stressed out and feeling insomnia and worry or concern. And finally, let's choose an oracle card for love. We'll see what the message is. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Unrequited love. Sometimes it's hard to let go of an ideal or a dream or someone that you think that you know in your heart is right for you, but they don't feel the same way. It's one of the saddest things, I think, in, in the world, really. It's, it's so hard to watch. And often your friends see, you know, the truth of a matter or the truth of a situation. But we find a way to keep this unrequited love going. And this unrequited love can certainly be a contributing factor to feeling this stress or this worry. 